All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining today. Uh, I am joined for yet another one of our 21 days of data uh, from Bitcoin Magazine. And joining me today is Bitcoin Audio, uh, someone who's worked with us um, a little bit on uh, one project, worked with me on the House Day project. We did a fundraiser for the ALS Association and raised um, over uh, 10 million Satoshis for uh, the ALS Association, sent them over to Fran Finney and the Golden West chapter and super appreciative of it. And one of the cool things that we made together was this, since we're talking about audio things, uh, which is an actual live record that the uh, number one donor got access to. And of course we got one for ourselves because we, we made the thing. So we definitely <laughs> printed one for ourselves here, but um, yeah. it's both Hal's first uh, mind block, uh, some of the uh, sounds from that, and then also Hal's first transaction. Uh, with Satoshi. I want to talk about this in a little bit um, because I think this is just super neat and how you made it, but I want to introduce you Bitcoin Audio and uh, tell me a little bit about how what you've built. Yeah, um, so basically Bitcoin Audio, you know, it's listening to that Bitcoin data, like what does it sound like? That's where, that's how it was born. Basically, uh, you know, looking, doing my research on Bitcoin and what it is and I don't know this questions just popped in my head well what does it sound like I, I do hot music as a hobby coding as a hobby and it just took off from there um i started with the genesis uh, merkle root and i i the very first two digits is a 4a and you can actually play that <laughs> um you know on uh tone uh using tone js which is um, a framework built on top of uh, web audio API. I don't know if you're familiar with, but um, it's how you can listen to sounds on your web browser with, through the web audio API. So um, with that question, I ran with it and I just started um, getting first with tones and I said, like, okay, now I wanna play this whole string. So I actually had to create like a loop Mm -hmm. and say, okay, once you play these first two, go to the next, play that, go to the next, and then it builds basically a loop and you can hear the what that string sounds like based off what, um, you know, what hexadecimal did, you know, characters will actually be played. So, you know, in the code, you, you, uh, you try uh, to play it and if it doesn't play, then, you know, it just kind of, you know, you, you catch that, um, you cast that error and just give it blank but doing that gives it it's i want to say i want to call it a melody or a groove or a rhythm you know if you play that over and over you 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 find a rhythm in it and you don't have to play the whole string you can cut the string um you know play the whole string cut it in half get a quarter of the string uh, you know, 16 bits of it or eight, you know, 64th, if you play the whole. Um, so looping that creates the sound and you can um, add effects to it. Um, you know, different, different, you know, once it, once you get the audio, you can manipulate it and do all types of things with it. That's so, cool. And when, when did you first uh, decide to, to do this, to put this together? Oh, man. Uh, couple of years ago um and i have to do it you know i have a day time i have a day job so i have to do it on spare time and um you know when time allows it of course you know i have a family but um it was a couple of years back and it, 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 it evolved and my kids will tell you you know and my wife will tell you you hear these weird sounds like what is that <laughs> then eventually evolved from weird tones to now okay sounds a little bit more musical now uh, it sounds a little bit more bearable to, to listen to now, you know, and, you know, the goal is to just get it to where it's just audible and similar to the record um, where it's just pleasant <laughs> to hear. Right. So, so how, audio, would, you know? how would you describe the sounds of the blockchain? If I'd never listened, if I, if I don't go to a Bitcoin audio and go look at your app right now, what does it sound like? How do you describe these noises? I have to give people a warning in the beginning. If you just go and click play, it's going to sound like a bunch of weird noises. You might have to um, slow it down. You might have to tweak a little bit to get it to sound right. But 
there's no particular genre I could say you could classify it as because I've heard even some Latin grooves. Um, I've heard some rock rhythms and some all crazy types of things. And the, the fun part about it, Flip, you know, at the Genesis block, you have the Merkel root and you have the hash. Mm -hmm. So just two strings of many in that one block. And then you have over six, you have 660 something thousand blocks right now. All of those strings, I can you can produce a sound from them. Mm -hmm. So the options, it's like a source of inspiration. If, you know, if you're a musician and, you know, you kind of need something inspiring, you could just, you know, everybody has their own method. Right. And they might just noodle around on a guitar and a piano and they maybe find a melody that they like and they go with it. You know, sometimes I'll just like, you know, give me a, a number, you know, I ask somebody, give me a number between zero and 600 and something and I'll go and I'll play. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, um, it's just it's, it's it's fun. It's fun. And about how long does each track? If I get I said, hey, audio, let's look at block X. Right. You're going to go through, does it look at just the block? Is it dissecting the transactions? Uh, how long does well, that last? Like, how long would it take me to listen to the entire Bitcoin blockchain from the start to now? Well, it's, it's going to take a long time. It's like, there's <laughs> just in those two, those two strings alone, the hash and the Merkle root, um, that's two times every single block in existence. And depending on how fast you play it, like you could play the one string, it could take you a couple seconds. If you slow it down, obviously it'd take more, but you're talking about millions of sounds. So infinite, right? we've got, we've Just got, from, not infinite, but we've got so many different sounds to be inspired by that we could just pick a random block and say, you know what, this is where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to listen to it and be surprised pretty much every single time. Yes. Uh, the fun thing uh, as well is that um, for w what I'm doing is I created a, a, a podcast for the Nakamoto's. The Nakamoto's is basically the band that uses the Bitcoin audio produced tracks. And, that, and what we did, like, for example, for House Blocks, we took um, Block 79, and, um, which was House run in Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. And then we took Block um, 170 which was the first transaction from Satoshi to how. And I took those uh, bits and pieces of those uh, blocks and layered them to create what's on that album that you have there. Um, and that, that, was, and, that, was, that was fun and, to do. So and also, there's a, unlimited possibilities when you have 300 gigs of data to work with. <laughs> and one of the Over cool the things too, the, even the... Uh, I'm doing a bad job at my Vanna White here, but even the colors, Tommy did this, uh, who works with us, um, mm -hmm. reflect the same data as well, right? So everything that's actually on here is generated straight from data on the blockchain, which I think is just Absolutely. such a cool experiment and such a cool way to think about uh, this. I, it, I, I, Bitcoin is not just money, right? It, it is freedom of speech. It's, it's freedom so of much. information. And yeah. when we can generate the stuff procedurally too and use programming and it's all like a nerds just dream to put all this together right yeah it's it's freedom um because i have the freedom to create what i'm i have the freedom the freedom to do what i'm doing and no one can say no you can't you can't do that that <laughs> right there's not copyrighted audio on there this is fresh that's right know? What, and, where do you get um, some of the inspirations for the sounds like so do you ever like all like do you audit anything so like when making house blocks right when we made this record did you kind of listen to it a little bit and say you know i like this chunk i don't like this chunk i'm going to put this together like how much manipulation for like something that you would produce or the nakamotones maybe uh how much editing are you doing um it, it is quite some um because you want to make it pleasing to the ear you don't want it to just be these tones. Some of them are very sharp and 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 they come like abruptly sometimes. So you want to kind of tone it down the best you can. The key is uh, you're using that data 
and then you're adding effects to it, you know? Right. And I see it similar to like, um, you know, many hip hop producers, they'll dig into the crates. And my crate is a block as, as opposed to a crate of music. So they'll take a sample and they'll manipulate the sample to make it to, you know, they'll, they'll tailor it to whatever it is they're trying to do. And I do, I think I do similar. I mean, I'm, I'm no, <laughs> I'm no awesome producer, but this, that's just the process. You know, and I want I would try to keep it as I don't not not as raw per se, but um, in in each song, I want to keep the original so you can actually hear what it is that's being played because there's proof of sound. You know, there's proof that this data exists, and when you take the the, the strings of data that I'm using, you can plug it into the synth online and say, yeah, that's where it came from. You know, anyone could take that data and plug it in to, to, to this instrument to verify. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, we could even keep from, <laughs> you could use the sounds to send transactions. I mean, we could use the sounds, right? It's just data. Right. So as long as we could mm -hmm. understand, you know, what that output means, like we could do a lot of like really interesting stuff. Um, oh yeah, you know, making sure that there's this connection there. There's there's uh, audio, there's colors because you know hex hex decimal colors. Mm -hmm. that, that's all on the block. I mean the whole blockchain pretty much is in that format. So there's 300 plus gigs of immutable data, mm -hmm. and what I'm seeing is I'm using it for audio and colors, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure we're going to see in the future different applications that. Uh, or interface of some sort that's an app for whatever and it uses that as its database because block zero is always going to have this data and you manipulate it with certain way to make it look like an apple mm -hmm. if you want you know and that's what the that app is just i'm gonna make block one look like an orange <laughs> and it's I always like going to be there and provable <laughs> yeah that would be uh, that would be it's super just, neat trying to get creative with with what you have there you know what's what's always going to be there for centuries for sure we're we're highlighting um a number of different projects over these 21 days in fact 21 projects plus a couple extras um and one of them is bitcoin rain i don't know if you've ever seen this but it's like an, an interesting little visualization on new blocks coming in uh the fee estimators have a little bit of some interesting stuff too so like there's I will highlight them in the coming weeks. I don't want to give away too terribly much, but there's about three or four projects that are doing just really interesting kind of visualizations with this data. Similar to how you're using audio, right? Or color. Uh, right. They're doing like animations or some type of like 3D world or maybe something on a globe, right? That's rotating that you kind of can see where those transactions are coming from. And I, um, I think that's super cool uh, uh, for sure. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So, Tell me a little bit more. Are you a musician outside of this? Do you play any other instruments? Do you try to um, maybe um, record sounds from the blockchain with, I don't know, a saxophone, with something else, right? Other than I uh, do, computer generated stuff. Yeah, so um, for, for right now for Segwit Sounds, the one, uh, you know, the track used on the on the Shores NATO mm -hmm. with Aaron Van, you know, Rev yep. and yeah, so that one, I actually, because I play, I play guitar, I play a little bass and a little keyboard. So um, that I'm working on that, adding guitar to uh, to the sound. So if you take house blocks, for example, any creative musician can use that as like a bass layer to play to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just limited. This is the song. That's it. It's they can they can play it. They you know a DJ can cut it up and and take samples from it and make a whole nother song out of it. Play instruments on it. Do whatever they want to. But yeah, and it's I I use it as a source of inspiration to create new music. I love it. What else technically did you did you have to learn? Um, you're not a programmer by trade, right? Like you were. Right. This is new and foreign type stuff to you, but you knew that you wanted to be able to create. So what did you have to learn? Like how deep down that rabbit hole did you have to go? Um, were there any projects you brought in that were super helpful in creating this? Well, well one project I mentioned already, um, Tone.js, that one was super helpful. And just basic uh, JavaScript and HTML, 
Um, I do call on the blockstream.info uh, API to get my data, which in the future, that's going to be um, calling to my own node to get the data, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, for now, just using uh, blockstream to get the data. And um, I, I learned, you know, I, I already knew some JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, it's, it's as a hobby, just coding. And I, I was always curious about coding and things like that. So um, I gave myself a few projects, pre-Bitcoin projects that I, I've had. And it's funny how you could take a previous project that's not Bitcoin related and totally inject Bitcoin into it. And like, whoa, <laughs> you know, it's a good way um, to I'm spice sure it a lot of, Yeah, absolutely. Give it Love some it. spice. Well, could you show us maybe a little bit of this, uh, maybe a little bit of a demo uh, of Bitcoin Audio? Sure, sure. Um, so um, I don't know if you see the screen yet. Yep, I can. Okay. And so up here is where we type in whatever block. And here is the Merkle root. And here's the hash. And here's the hash with no zeros, no leading zeros. So, um, this was the very first like rhythm or sound, like not the first sound, but the first real rhythm that kind of rang throughout my house. And people were like, well, what, what is that, dad? <laughs> my wife's just like, hon, like, what, what are you listening to? <laughs> um, but it's fun. Uh, here's uh, the string played through an FM synth and a kalimba type of preset. If we go here and do membrane synth, I created this preset. Um, if I if I play the the Bitcoin uh, pizza day, mm -hmm. like there's a, a block number that this would sound a little bit better. But and then down here, um, if you wanted to change some of the envelopes here, like the tag, you can do that. Uh, change octaves. If you want to make 10 octaves. You can um, go and just play a regular synth. So one fun thing here um, that I discovered just slow this down here a little bit. And I took this string, doubled it there, and this is actually what my ringtone sounds like on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty neat. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you scroll down here, the, uh, there's actually some recording functionality. Um, it's, it's very buggy. Um, I do have to, you know, work on that. Um, but yeah, that's what it sounds. That's what it sounds like. Um, this is what Block Zero sounds like. The colors. Are, this is what these are what the colors look like. So um, if you were to like right click and check on your browser, um, the that green part there that disappeared. Um, will actually be the first uh, eight characters in the string. And then this blue part would be the next, you know, if you go to the start at the second character and, you know, count eight, that'll be the second um, color in the string. So you can, you know, take all these colors and, <laughs> that and so sense. what I did is- That's a good way to generate it. I like that. So this, you know, this is a fun little thing. It reveals the colors of this string because the this first part, it didn't play, but this part does. So the parts that you actually play will stay highlighted or stay stay colorized. Um, if you can't play that bit, that bit, it won't, you know, it'll disappear on you. If you hover over it, it's, it's one of the things I kind of programmed to, to do. Um, also over here, So you've got some MIDI beat pads, you've got the color pads, you've got an equalizer volume, 
being able to split it down uh, as well by the, the, the tempo uh, and a couple different synths as well. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's... And then is this a block adjuster as well over here on the top left? On the oh yeah, so you can count. So um, if you wanted to go, you know, up a hundred. If you wanted to go, oh, uh, actually, one hundred thousand sounds pretty decent too. Uh, I feel like I can make a song to that beat. Now, if you know, you can take that, edit it do what producers do to a sample and create a whole song from that for sure you know very cool well this is cool to see the satoshi nk1 live in action i uh i appreciate the demo on that uh Thank let's you. Thank see. You. so what's what's next what else do you want to put into this i mean uh, is it oh. a living breathing thing is it something that you've made that you want to keep as it is because it does a great job what's uh, i want to keep next? iterating on it i do want to work on the ui make the ui a little bit more futuristic maybe get the little bugs out that i know is there there's a lot of technical debt behind that <laughs> that since so i want to that, that's every project you know, it's fine yeah it's always so i want to pay that fine. debt back and and um I, I would like to, and I kind of started diving into a little bit creating, I don't know if you're familiar with VST plugins for, for mm -hmm. DAWs. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to create a VST plugin so that straight from your DAW, you can get blockchain data and play it and manipulate it and do whatever you want from it. You know, um, I, I, I kind of see that in the pipeline. I'm working with this one program called cables i don't know if you're familiar with it cables and it's like a you can basically code moving blocks around and then you connect the blocks so um i could creating some visualizations with the blockchain data bitcoin blockchain data as well um so there's just a ton of ideas and things that i i want to do that i just don't necessarily have the time so slowly but surely you know i lower my time preference and, and i'll get there <laughs> well, cool. well uh audio i really appreciate you talking a little bit about this and giving us the history and um i, I know this everything is open source as well correct oh yeah 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 great it, it's so, uh, you can find it online great and um so if, if you're out there and you're listening and you're like well i know vst plugins maybe i'll help out like reach out to audio let's get this working uh let's get uh the sounds from the blockchain out there for the world to consume and to use and to create some fun beats i'm pretty excited about uh what we've done and again i, I really appreciate the work that you've done uh for us well, i appreciate you reaching down. out flip yeah of course how do we find you on the internet what's the easiest way to do that uh at bitcoin audio on twitter on twitter um great yeah, we can do that. Where, what, about, what about the website URL for uh, the the app you just showed us? Oh yeah, that's in the um, bio at on Twitter, All so right. you can get it. You can reach it from there, really easy. And um, if you have any questions regarding, it, if you you know how to use it, just reach out and I'll show you. All right, great. Well, I can't think of uh, one of the cooler things to celebrate in this twenty one days of data. And leading up to proof of keys and i hope uh everybody got to see a little bit on the inside of what it took to make bitcoin audio uh the sounds of the blockchain uh audio thank you so much for joining me today and thank you flip uh, hope to see you on one of our streams again here soon for uh, sure for big sure. time marble show for everyone who doesn't show i'm quick plug join the twitter or the twitch marble show <laughs>